G'day, I'm Alistair Christie for LearnDelphi.tv. Um, go to LearnDelphi.tv and check out my other videos. Also check out my commercial videos which are available for sale. Um, they are building applications in Delphi using the Visual Component Library. Uh, three parts, each six hours long. Um, let's create a new uh, FireMonkey desktop application. And we'll make it an HD, HD app. Um, now this is where I'd probably demonstrate my lack of uh, knowledge of FireMonkey. So first off, client dataset and data source. So we're going to write the classic BioLife um, application. So we'll hook those together, and I'll just load from the BioLife XML, which I'm grabbing from the actually from the XC2 um, example data. Um, so that's now all active and what have you. So we can go to our, our Visual Live Bindings Designer. Um, what I would like to be able to do is just select the uh, fields that I want and add them, uh, bind them to a, a grid, but I have to do it this way. Um, so link to a string grid, and that's, that's bound uh, all of them. Uh, and yeah, I, I, I don't see a nice easy way of um, limiting the, the fields from here. So. Um, but anyway, uh, digression. Um, so we also want to bind our graphic to an image control and our notes to a memo. We can lay that out a bit more, more tidily. I'm so probably that way around to be more sensible. The layout, layout engine probably uh, needs still needs a bit of work. Um, so that's our, our our bindings done. So let's uh, arrange those controls, uh, and oh, let's also check a a um, bind navigator, and we can hook that up as well. Okay, so let's make that I don't know, yay big. Oops. Our fish. Our memo. Um, let's make that a little bit bigger. Okay, and resize that. And we probably want to uh, limit the, the columns, so let's go. And grab our binding. We'll add all the columns and delete the ones we don't want. And while we're here, um, make that one 100 in each of those, and 130 or something like that. And the length in centimeters is probably fine as it is. Um, now, so what's new is anchors. So I can anchor that um, to uh, all all sides. Um, this one I will anchor to the left and bottom, and bottom right and left. Okay. And now, if we run that, I've got all those bindings sorted out. We can resize, and uh, it all works perfectly as it would if we did it in the VCL. So we've now got both anchors and alignment in FireMonkey, which kind of gives it parity um, with the VCL in that respect. And likewise with the um, visual uh, live bindings, which are new to, new to both. Um, so what else is new? Actions. So this is uh, pretty cool. Um, just a very basic demo of that. And I'll be lazy. Uh, and it has a text property rather than the caption. Um, and what do I want to... Uh, just, just, got saved file. 
and in the events. Uh, so I'm just going to change count greater than zero. And on execute, I'll just do a show message. Okay. And we run that. Currently, save to file is disabled. Uh, and I can make a change, save it, and then save to file is enabled. Um, so we now have uh, actions. And something I haven't checked. So what have we got in the way of standard actions? So there's uh, quite a few bits in the live binding ones. Um, no copy and paste and things like that as yet. Um, that virtual keyboard might be something worth investigating. Um, anyhow, uh, that's um, uh, visual live bindings, uh, anchors, and actions covered very briefly. Um, this was Alistair Christie.